News 8's Eric Feldman joins us with that. And the, the U.S. Office of Special Counsel says what actually happened here. Yeah, in this report, the Department of Veterans Affairs, it substantiates claims that there was gross mismanagement when it comes to this home care. Claims coming from three whistleblowers inside Routabush. Tonight, the VA says it promises to do better by its patients. It's a place for those ready to lay down their lives for country to get the medical help they need. You don't want to see these words from a government investigator about these kinds of places. Significant delay to care, lack of adequate training, a risk to public health because of actions from its employees. He's talking about the Routabush VA Medical Center right here in Indianapolis in a letter addressed to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, the White House. It does concern me and it is upsetting. We told Vietnam War vet Ron Wilson about what happened. In 2017, a veteran went to Routabush, a foot infection, a life-threatening complication to his diabetes. That June, he was discharged back home. The VA says a social worker was supposed to go to this vet's home to dress his wound twice a day to help it heal and to protect it. On day one, the care was unfinished and then canceled. Day two, no one showed up. Three days, no care. His foot became infected. Part of his leg had to be amputated because of a mistake. It is disturbing because uh, I may be that same person five, ten years down the road. Wilson leads a group called Hamilton County Veterans. He says he's seen improvements in wait times at Routabush the past few years, but government investigators found what happened at that vet's home was part of a larger issue. Social workers being told not to do home health care visits because it's not in the scope of practice. So we did reach out to Routabush for comment. We have not heard back. As of now, Mike. So what's the VA doing about this? Well, the good news is that in this letter to the president, it does say that the VA is going to be taking action. The confusion about whether home health care visits are part of those social workers' jobs, well, that's no more. Staff have been told that it is, and they've been trained to do so as of now. And if there is an incomplete home visit, like what happened with this veteran who had to have part of his leg amputated, that worker must, must make sure someone else is there to go finish that work, as you can see, very important stuff here. And the government investigators, they do say, these are positive steps, but this is a quote, distressed that such a situation occurred in the first place. Certainly so, just not uh, good news for the VA, that's for sure. All no. right, Eric, thank you. Yeah.